Thank you, President. My adjournment matter is for the Minister for the Environment. Homeowners in bushland areas are damned if they do and damned if they don't. If they clear land around their homes, they risk enormous fines for envi environmental damage. If they leave it uncleared, they risk having their homes destroyed by bushfires. These rules need a change. Everyone should be allowed to take reasonable steps to protect their homes from bushfires. In some ways, I'm surprised that this government, a government that forces us to wear helmets when we ride push bikes and requires a safety course for everything, not only allows us to have bushfire fuel on our doorsteps, but punishes us when we clear it. We are yet to see a land clearing amnesty so that residents living in bushfire prone areas can remove, remove fuel from around their homes and protect themselves from bushfires without risking fines for damaging vegetation. This amnesty would be long overdue. It should have been called during or after the last bushfire season. Those who live near the bush know that you cannot rely on, the, on DELP to protect their homes for them, and many have learnt they can't rely on the CFA when the conditions are catastrophic. All they can do is prepare ahead of the fire, removing what will burn from around their houses. We are still waiting for fuel load maps to be released. If these maps were made public and an amnesty declared, residents would be able to assess their bushfire risk and take real measures to reduce it. Instead, this government hides the fuel load maps and bans preventative action. It's not just my opinion. Experts have determined that fuel load reduction is a vital bushfire mitigation strategy. With a five-year rotation, they recommended that Victoria should be burning 6 to 7% of its protected forests annually. The 2009 Bushfire Royal Commission echoed this position, citing a 5% target as a minimum. Last year, the government failed to meet hazard reduction burn targets and hid the bushfire fuel load maps. I call on the Minister to improve bushfire preparedness by declaring a land clearing amnesty and regularly publishing fuel load maps that show progress from hazard reduction burns.